Hello everyone, Ted's here, and uh, this video is just pretty much to explain to you guys how to pretty much start playing World at War. I've had a lot of people asking me uh, if they can play World at War with me sometime, or get in a six man with me, or even just, you know, for tips and stuff about World at War, so I decided I'd, you know, make a little commentary about it. So usually on World at War it can be pretty hard to find s &D games, so what you have to do to change that is go onto TDM, find recent players, and invite those recent players into an empty lobby. When doing this it can be pretty easy to come across more in TDM as the game is pretty infested with them, but the best way to avoid them is to quite literally avoid them. Go into their profile, go submit player review, and go avoid player. In your recent players list, this should mark them with a frowny face, which is an indicator to not invite them. When playing World at War, there are three different game types you can play to do search and destroy. Team Tactical, Core Search and Destroy, and Hardcore Search and Destroy. Team Tac is good when you only have two or three people because it only requires 2v2 to start. Core Search and Destroy and Hardcore Search and Destroy both require 3v3 to start. You can play up to 6v6 as on other Call of Duties, but I find 3v3 and 4v3 just as easy, if not better. Now, in order to trickshot well in World at War, it's important to have a good class setup. What I recommend you do is split your classes in half, from core and hardcore. Starting off in core, there are a few things that I think are necessary. First off, as the base perks have perks 2 and 3, stopping power, and steady aim. There really isn't a perk one that's necessary for trickshotting, it's up to you what you have there. The next thing I recommend is having a scope on most, if not all classes. If you decide to go with that, a scope, it'll decrease your range and therefore give you more hit markers. There isn't really a sniper that I would recommend above all of them, although I do recommend you stay away from the PDRS. Now moving over to hardcore allows you to customize your perk 2 slot without facing the consequence of more hit markers. I recommend using overkill so you can put on a second primary and go for some sick complex builds, or using slider hand to add a little bit more style in your shots. In terms of standards and shots to go for in World of War, I really think that that's a personal decision. If you like the shot and you want to use it, use it. If you don't like the shot, left over it. In saying that, it should be pretty obvious if the shot is usable or not. I love seeing other people hit shots on World at War, so if you do hit a shot, send it in to me so I can check it out and leave you some feedback. Oh. <laughs>